Jonathan Powell with the first question. Go ahead, Jonathan. Thanks. I'm glad we've given you some good weather. It should be really nice tomorrow. Um, how much, you know, how much rotation lineup wise do you think we'll see from last game to this? Do you want to give everybody who didn't play in the last game a run, et cetera? Thanks. I mean, there, there obviously there'll be some rotation, unnecessary rotation, more management than uh, anything else. But also, I've said this. Um, I feel like uh, before every camp or before every game that uh, there, there, there is a certain group of players that we want to see on the field uh, in the uh, in same time and uh, we want to do that as much as possible because we want to um, we want to strengthen those relationships on the field. Uh, these are players that haven't had a chance to play together um, uh, to play together for a long time. So anytime we have a chance to to have them play together to uh, learn each other's strengths, weaknesses, habits, uh, we're going to use the opportunity and do that. And is that Hugh Macario Smith trio in that order? Is that, I see you smile. Is that one um, of those groups? That is certainly one of those groups. <laughs> Thanks. I wish I could be there tomorrow. I'm stuck in COVID purgatory. Hope it's a good game. Thank you. Sorry about that, JT. Um, all right, if you have a question for Blocko, please raise your hand. Not many hands are raised, so we'll go to Sean McCaffrey. Go ahead. Blocko, thank you for taking the time out to do this with us. Similar to Jonathan's question, hopefully you feel better soon, Jonathan. What improvements do you seek on your team, and what anticipated differences do you see from your opponent? I don't. I don't know if uh, we're going to see a lot of uh, a lot of differences from the opponent, or maybe we will. Uh, I don't know that, but uh, we're certainly preparing for whatever the the opponent uh, steps up with uh, or comes up with. Uh, we are, uh, I would say, in this camp, a lot more focused on us and a lot less uh, on the opponent. Uh, it's the uh, it's our principles that we want to make sure that we uh, narrow down and uh, tighten up and get better at it. And uh, that's uh, that's what we're gonna look into uh, going into this game. Just uh, just uh, tighten up every little detail, every little thing, and just keep getting better at it. Thanks, Sean. Move on to Steph Yang. Go ahead, Steph. Thanks, Aaron. Um, Black I actually wanted to ask about Naomi Germa. It seems like not trusting her last game was placing a lot of faith in Abby Del Kemper and um, Alana Cook. And just whether or not she plays, what are you looking for in this evaluation period for Germa? Yes. Yeah, so uh, obviously uh, Na Naomi w uh, wasn't dressing in the last game. She will in this game, and uh, I'm sure we're going to see a little bit of uh, Naomi on the field. Um, on the other side, uh, Abby, she started the first game very happy uh, with her and uh, per the minutes recommendation, she will not be able to play uh, 90 minutes in uh, in game two. But uh, I'm happy to, to have Ney here who has been developing very well. We we see that she's getting a little more comfortable in the environment and I think it's uh, it's time for her to get, uh, get minutes and experience. Uh, uh, experience uh, that uh, experience um, game uh, game time game minutes game preparation and uh, hopefully uh, we can continue her development uh, uh, along the way. Just to follow up on Germa, are you seeing that now that she's getting minutes with her club and you know regularly having that that center back pairing over there at San Diego? Do you find that that's um, you know helping her develop as a player? Yes, uh, obviously she she's playing uh, in in her club environment next to a very experienced uh, center back center back that uh, that knows what it takes uh, to be uh, in this environment to be in this system to be successful in this system. So that's uh, very beneficial uh, for Naomi and uh, for her going forward. Obviously, uh, will be not just playing um, playing for uh, playing next to uh, Abby. Is also playing performing well and getting good uh, good quality minutes uh, in her club environment. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Steph. We'll give a few more seconds if anyone wants to raise their hand. And that means Sandra Herrera has a question. Go ahead, Sandra. Hi, Michael. Thanks <clears throat> for the time. You mentioned before in the past about wanting to see more from a specific group of players, and you chatted a little bit just now about 
some more attacking players and just now about the back line a little bit. In terms of the goalkeeping position and, uh, you know, going up against Uzbekistan in the second of two friendlies here, are we going to expect to see any rotation there as well? Yes, absolutely. I think this is a great opportunity to introduce one of the one of the two goalkeepers that uh, have not had a chance to um, to be on the field and uh, uh, and get uh, any minutes uh, with, with us before. So we can uh, certainly expect... Uh, Respect rotation or change uh, on that position as well. And just to, to follow up, you you expressed some <laughs> disappointment. You and the team expressed some disappointment in conceding the uh, the one goal with uh, Uzbekistan. How has how has it been in preparation, uh, looking back at the film and, and sort of uh, taking a look at what you guys can do on on set pieces. I think that uh, we 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 analyzed everything that happened, and I think that's an area that. Uh, I, I can uh, I can say with confidence that we're not going to make uh, the same mistake, and uh, I'm actually excited to see uh, excited to see how we're going to handle uh, the this next game. And I, I'm actually in some way I hope we had an op we have an opportunity to defend that area or to defend a couple of corner kicks just just to see what uh, um, what uh, what is it what, what is that going to look like. Thanks for your time, Michael. Appreciate yeah, it. Thank you. Thanks, Sandra. Unless anyone else raises their hand, this will be the last one for Vlatko, and it goes to John Lupo. Go ahead, John. Vlatko, um, I know you, from the question was just asked, you probably like to work on set pieces, but is there anything else besides maybe having a look at the, one of the other two goalkeepers that you're specifically looking for that you would like to do in this match tomorrow? I mean, uh, for them, first and foremost, uh, is uh, whether uh, whether is uh, Bella or Aubrey um, uh, on the field. I think the first thing is that uh, they experience the moment, they ex uh, they experience uh, the preparation for the game, being with the team uh, on the field, and then for for us in the, in games like this, for for the goalkeepers, it is extremely important that uh, they're ready for those. Uh, Two moments uh, throughout the game. I mean, these are uh, as easy as it, as it looks for the goalkeepers. It's really hard to stay focused for 90 minutes uh, and get called uh, called up to to make a save or, or do something once or twice uh, in the last 10 minutes. Uh, so they need to. We want we want them to be able to stay focused, stay concentrated for those uh, two moments or one moment of the game, and then uh, to be able to direct uh, direct the team, uh, be involved uh, as much as possible, not necessarily being involved with saves or. or or uh, playing, uh, but uh, vocal communication, uh, controlling, uh, controlling the back line, directing traffic. So there are so many things that they can do to to be involved and uh, help this team be, uh, be successful.